Hi, in this video, we want to talk about logistic regression in Python programming language and machine learning. So please stay tuned. So here is an example. As you can see on the X axis, we have salary of the customer. And also on the Y axis, we have whether the person has bought the product or not. As you can see, generally people with low salary doesn't buy the product and people with higher salary tend to buy the product. But here's a question. What is the best curve in order to fit our data? Maybe you say, okay, we should fit a line like this, but it is not true. Line is not a good idea. Why? Because we don't have such data and also we don't have such data. And also it doesn't show the pattern of data. So a line is not a good choice. But let me tell you the answer. If you fit a line like this, it would be a good idea. And this line is called logistic function. And as you can see, it properly shows the pattern. As you can see, the people with lower salary tend to not buy the product and the people with higher salary tend to buy the product. And the people who are in the middle of the this in the middle of this chart, I mean the people with middle salary with medium salary, as you can see some buy and some don't buy. So the probability of buying the product is 0.5. So as I mentioned earlier, this function is called logistic function. This is a logistic function. And this is exactly why we call it logistic regression. We are going to find the best logistic function in order to show the pattern of our data. Now let's do logistic regression in Python programming language. And this is the code that we have talked in the previous videos. And the only thing that we want to change is this model we simply want to replace it with a logistic regression model. So we simply type from sklearn.linear model, we want to import logistic regression. Then we are going to create an object of logistic regression and I want to call it, let's say model. Then we simply type model.fit because we want to fit our model onto x train and y train. And there it is. And remember that I keep the other uh, parts untouched. So if I run the code, you can see that here's the accuracy 86%. Here's the confusion matrix. Here's the heat map of our confusion matrix. This is normalized confusion matrix. And this is the heat map of normalized confusion matrix. This is recall precision specificity. And it says F1. And if I run the code again, you can see that the result has changed. And here is a question why the result has changed. And the reason is, the first reason is this part. I mean, this train test split, which is totally random. So if you want to get the same result as I get, you should simply type uh, the random state and, and if I pass zero, and also you pass zero to this random state, you're going to get the same result. But remember that the only randomness in our code is not because of this train test split. Also, our model has randomness. So also we type random state for our model. And for example, let's provide zero for random state. And now if I run the code, you can see here is F1. And if I run the code again, you will see that we are going to get the same results because we have set the random, random state to zero. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about decision tree in Python programming language.